So I recently updated my pedal board. Uh, it has a few new pedals uh, with a lot of things underneath it as well. You just heard it in the demo that, uh, that was in the beginning of the video. I'll go into the details later on this, uh, this video, uh, what kind of sounds I've used. So my signal path is like this. Uh, first it goes into the Whammy by uh, Digitech. Which I mainly use for drop tuning. After that, it goes into the Compressor Mini by Akili, which uh, yeah, mainly compresses the signal. For some extra sustain. So yes, this is uh, like a, an always-on pedal because it helps me with the sustain from this uh, from this Stratocaster, which well, uh, doesn't have that much of sustain. So yeah, it's a set and forget kind of uh, kind of pedal. Now, after that, it goes into the Bass Nine by Electro Harmonics. The output of the bass machine goes directly into the HX Tomp, so there's the bass sound only. The guitar sound goes to the pedal board first, but I can uh, do both the sounds at the same time. After the bass machine, it goes into the Freakout by Digitech as well. After the freak out, uh, it then goes into the Sentry, the noise gate by uh, TC Electronic, and this is the this is a fast gate because for the high gain situations. So this is for the for the fast applications. So for the slower things, I got some less extreme gates uh, set up in the uh, in the HX tone. After the Sentry, it goes into the EFXLE, the FX switcher by uh, Musicom Lab. And this is where it switches all the other effects. Um, it has six loops, and in the first loop, there's the, uh, the Sentry noise gate. So it's actually in a four cable method. So you can switch the actual gate uh, via the EFXLE. So here I can switch it off as well. Now in the second loop, there's a combination of the Dr. Distorto by Line 6 and the C4 synthesizer by Source Audio. And the Dr. Distorto is here to provide some extra sustain for the C4 synthesizer. I don't use the distortion side of this pedal, only the feedback side, uh, which basically sustains the last note that you've played. So that's really cool and uh, it works really well in combination with the Source Audio C4 synthesizer. In loop 3, there's the mainframe by Electro Harmonics. This is a bit crusher and yeah, it crushes uh, your sound. And the cool thing is that now it's in tuning mode, which, uh, which you can see with uh, the blinking red uh, LED. And now it follows your, uh, your playing and it uh, sets the sample rate according to what's it, what you're playing. Also got another synthesizer, which is the Pictronics uh, Space Rip.
So yeah, that's the Space Rip by uh, Pictronics. Really gnarly sounds, really great. Now in loop five, there's the HX Stomp. So with loop five disengage, you can get the uh, effects on the HX Stomp. The send uh, goes into the input of the Line 6 HX Stomp, and the stereo sends of the HX Stomp go back to the EFX LE as the stereo returns of loop 5. I have to say it correctly. And the outputs of the EFX LE go back to the uh, stereo returns of the HX Stomp. The HX Stomp ba basically does uh, my amp sims and uh, stuff like that, both for the guitar and the bass sound. Uh, and also the, the pitch shifting and stuff like that. So basically it does everything that's not on this board. In loop 6 I've got the uh, slicer by the boss. It's also in a stereo loop. And because this is in a stereo loop and I've got this dual mono setup with you know, the left channel being the guitar sound and the right channel being the bass sound. So with this ping pong uh, setting on the slicer you can uh, create some cool uh, dual mono sounds. So yeah, the slicer was the last loop in the EFX LE, but there's also a tuner. Uh, this is the Pitch Black Poly by Cork. So after all the, all the loops, uh, it goes back to the Line 6 HX style. And it's uh, FX return. And the bass sound has, uh, has its own output, which is the right output of the HX style. And the left output, which contains the guitar sound, then goes into my Zoom multi stomp And to provide some extra depth to the sound. So uh, there's, there are two main effects in this, uh, in this thing. Now it's completely dry. And this is the chamber reverb. To provide some depth. And this is there's a dual digital delay. Which acts as a kind of doubler. Which is a bit has a bit of a stereo spread uh, across the field. There's also a uh, stereo EQ in here, which is basically just to trim off the volume because otherwise it would clip my sound card. So yeah, that's the pedal board. So uh, I used it for the uh, the intro jam that you've heard. Uh, let's get into those sounds that I've used. Now for the starting part, I used my main sound. This is just a dirty, uh, dirty guitar amp. Lots of gain. Um, in combination uh, with the bass sound. And now the guitar plays uh, power chords uh, supplied by a pitch shifter in the uh, HX stomp. I can change the interval with this button. So it goes between a perfect fifth and a minor sixth which is seven semitones or eight semitones. So this is seven and this is eight. Now I also use the, uh, the slicer by uh, the boss. I also added a filter in the beginning, low pass filter. Which I can turn off with the other expression pedal. Low bass filter only goes to the guitar sound and not the bass sound. It sounds a bit like this.
for the crunch tone, I basically just rolled off my uh, my volume on my Stratocaster, and I also switched off the Sentry noise gate. For the synth pad sounds, I used the uh, C4 synth, of course, by Source Audio, uh, which is boosted by the Dr. Distorto for, for some extra sustain. Uh, the noise gate is on as well to tame the sound, and I used the stereo chorus in the Zoom multi stop. So in the middle section of the jam I use this sound, which is made of a couple of things. First of all there's the Pictonic Space Rub, that goes into the mainframe by Electro Harmonics. And I also use the Whammy for this. And last but not least I use the filter delay in the multi -stop. last solo I used my regular guitar amp and uh, now I've got a double digital delay on the uh, Zoom multi -stop. One of the delay lines is set to quarter notes and the other ones to dotted eighths. And I used the free count as well at the end. So that's my new pedal board, you've seen it, you've heard it, all of those sounds. If you've got any questions, you know where to leave them and uh, I'll get back to you.